Hi YouTube, it's Adrian here. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. We're so happy to have you guys. Say hi down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And today I'm here with a handbag or rehab video. And if you guys aren't familiar with this, um, like, collection of videos that I do, um, I love buying, like, secondhand used handbags and wallets and then fixing them up and making them look brand new again and I will actually have a link right here just hit the little I and then a little window will pop up and you can select um, the playlist that I have I have um, tons of bags and wallets that I've um, redone and brought back to life and I'm just like so like obsessed with them and today the bag that I have for you is a coach bag now this is a um, like a fabric coach. You can see it has like the classic monogram and with the black leather, black handles. The handles are like really dry. They definitely need to be um, reconditioned. And this fabric actually used to be this color. As you can see there, it used to be black on it was a black on black monogram, and it has faded. Now it looks kind of like. On camera it looks kind of brown, but in real life it's like grayish. But I'm going to show you guys how to re-dye this fabric and then how to um, condition the bag. Oh, and I also purchased this bag for just $9.99, which is actually really good. A bag even in this condition at the Goodwill usually goes for a lot more, usually about like $20, $25. So I'm super excited to get it for $10 and that I would be able to show you guys how to do this. Really, it's actually a really, really simple um, repair. And if you have a classic coach and maybe you want to just dye the fabric or if something like this happened to it, you can definitely easily bring it back to life. So let's get started. I'll show you guys um, what you need to do this and let's get into it. Okay guys, so of course we're going to need the bag that we're going to repair. So that is right here, that coach bag. Then for the leather, we're going to just use my favorite, favorite product of all time. And I am like running out. I need to order some more. The Cadillac Boot and Shoe Care. This stuff is amazing. It's awesome. It's life. I cannot recommend this any more than I already do. Again, all these um, items that I'm going to be showing you guys too, I'm going to have links down below if you guys are interested in purchasing them. And, um, oh, just a microfiber cloth that's just to apply the conditioner onto the leather. And then we're going to need, this is important, this is going to be um, what we're going to be using to actually color the fabric. And this is just Angelus Black um, Acrylic Paint. And Angelus Paint is amazing because this acrylic paint is not just good for leather. You can actually use it for fabrics as well so it's super awesome um, we're actually going to use this and we're going to dilute it with water and we're going to mix that on just a paper plate and um, just some paintbrushes to apply and that is everything that we're going to be using today so with that being said let us start first with conditioning the leather let's just get that over with it's probably the easiest part so we're just going to use the Cadillac conditioner Mix it up a little bit, and then just put some on our, what's it called, on the um, microfiber cloth. And we're just going to actually just take apart all the hardware just to make this easier on us. So not to go around all that other stuff. So we're gonna start with this. And I always like to apply it first using the microfiber cloth because not only is it conditioning the leather, but it's also um, lifting any dirt and stuff that's on the leather itself. So you're cleaning it and you're conditioning it. And then when you go back afterwards and the leather is still, oh, see how dark that is? <laughs> and you can see that um, if the leather is still dry after you do this, Step, you can always just um, go over it again or what I like to do is I just like to apply it with my fingers and just massage it into the leather so that it'll really moisturize it just like when you're moisturizing your skin that's kind of like the how you're going to like the technique that you're gonna want to use to do this and 
it's really easy. So, and you can see here, like this, the leather is really dry. It's like it has some minor, like, it's not necessarily cracking, but it's kind of like crinkling. And you can see in the handle right here, it's very, very dry. You can see that, like, it's just like when your skin is looking dry, you can see like little crackles in it, like that. Like, that's what's happening to this leather. And again, we're just going to remove this handle. It's gonna make it a lot easier to condition and it's gonna make it a lot easier to paint afterwards. So we're just gonna keep going over the leather, just conditioning everything nicely. Go on to the other side. We're even gonna condition this little and when you use this conditioner too it's going to remove light scratches on certain leathers and sometimes there's like weird discoloration that happens to the leather too and a lot of the times that is just like a dry patch on the leather and once you moisturize it and you add that moisture back into the leather it brings back that color so you can see here, this little piece has like kind of like a lot of light scratching and when we apply this leather conditioner to it, it's going to actually um, remove all that, probably. Just gotta buff it in. This part is exceptionally dry right here around the magnetic piece for some reason. But see how it took out a lot of those light scratches and scuffs? So that's really nice too about the leather conditioner that it can do that for you. And now let's get into the little leather strap really quick. And this is like super, let me actually try to zoom it in a little bit more for you guys so you can see actually how dry this strap is. You can see there, there's like some dirt right there as well and that's all going to come off when we use the conditioner and the microfiber cloth on it. See how nice and conditioned that looks now that you just added that little amount of condition of um, leather condition. See the back, like you can see the comparison between the two, like can you see how nice and conditioned this side is and this part is like kind of like crackly and gross looking. Yeah, so again, all you're going to need is just a little conditioner, and once you add that on there, it's going to make it look a million times better. And honestly, sometimes all a bag needs is just a little leather conditioner, and it's going to bring the beauty back to your bag, and it's going to look brand new again. So as you can see there, take a look at that. It just looks really great again, and it brings back the luster and the shine to the leather. And we're just going to finish the other pieces really quick. And then we're going to get into dyeing the fabric, which is super, super, super easy. And the difficulty level for this, I would probably give it like a, maybe out of 10, 10 being the most difficult and one being like super easy. It's probably like maybe a three. You don't really need any painting skills or anything to do this. All you have to be able to do is like paint within the lines of the leather and you're good. But even if you get a little bit on the leather, it's totally fine since the leather is black. And we're really just trying to avoid um, the white stitching on the leather later on. So this is now done. The strap, we're just going to let this sit right here and then we're going to get into the bag. I'm actually going to remove a little dongle on the corner as well. So we don't accidentally do anything to it. I think this is actually a really good place to start right here where it's already dark. Uh, you can see how great this is going to match up. So actually let me just, I'll be right back. Let me just grab some water and we'll get into the coloring process. Okay, you guys, so I'm back with my little cup of water. Now, there's no, like, there's no really real, like, mixing ratio when you mix together the paint and the water. Um, I just kind of eyeball it. 
you just want the mixture to be um, really like loose and like you want it to be like kind of watery actually like when you apply it so that you're pretty much just staining the fabric and you're not um, necessarily like coloring it like you want the you want the color to absorb into the fabric and not so much as uh, making like a layer of paint on it because if you use this by itself it will just sit on the top of the fabric and the, what's really great about the Angelus acrylic paint is that it's highly you can mix it's highly mixable you can mix it with other colors to make more um, if you want to do any what's it called like custom colors or anything like they mix very very well with each other so that is not a problem and I really love that you can use them for um, fabrics like this and you can kind of like dye the fabric with them as well you just need to make like a really watery mixture like this see how like it's like the consistency is just like pretty much of water like it's just a little bit thicker from the paint and that is pretty much what you want like if you go like that like it's still pretty dark but you can see that it still like makes um, it's like kind of like gray so with that being said we're gonna start on the bag now and let me actually zoom in a little bit for you guys you can see it just a tad bit better so we're just gonna start we're gonna focus on this side right here and we're just going to get the paintbrush and just start applying lightly and this is just going to like melt into the fabric and it's just going to start coloring it I'm actually going to just put it up against the actual black that it was originally and see how well it color matches right there but I, I think ultimately we're just gonna go all over everything so that it has a uniform color And it is going to look really dark at first because it is wet. You're going to have to give it a little bit of time to dry. And it's not going to dry as quickly as it normally would when you're just using the acrylic paint. If you use the acrylic paint by itself, it the dry time is only a few minutes and it's very, 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 very fast. Um, like when it's when you mix it in with the water like this, of course, it's the dry time of just regular water. So it's going to take a little bit for it to dry up. but. And just be careful about the leather. You don't really have to be too careful because the leather is already black anyway. And you can always just wipe this off. But um, you don't want to get the paint on the, on the white string because that will dye. And it will dye very well. And that is just going to turn like gray or black. So just be careful when you're doing the corners. Just be careful not to get it on there. And as you can see, that whole side is done. It's still wet. Um, let's actually see how it dries. I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, and we'll, I'm just going to let it dry for a little bit and then I'll be right back with you guys so we can see how it turned out together. Alright guys, so here is the look of the bag. It's still a little dry though it's almost there. You can see that it is like really good. This little spot right here is still wet. But right here, like, these look exactly the same. Do you see that? So I think it's going to match up really, really well. So with that being said, let's get into um, dyeing the rest of the bag. And this is just a really, really easy process. Um, we're just going to just pretty much color the rest of the bag with the pink. And again, just be careful of the corners. You do not want to get the dye on them. And you actually do not need a lot of paint to do this. Um, the pigment is really, really strong in this paint, so you just need um, just need a little bit. There's a brown spot right there in the middle for some reason, probably from the friction of the um, leather strap that goes over that part. But again, we're just 
Oh, see, I wasn't careful, but I didn't get any on the actual. And if you do get um, some paint on there, just wipe it off really, really quickly. And then if it still stains, just use a little um, rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover and um, like a Q-tip and just like try to, it should come out with that if you do it right away. So don't fret if something like that does happen. It's not the end of the world. Just um, don't let it like sit and dry because that is what is going to really darken that part. So let's get into, actually let's do the front. I'm just gonna set this on behind it so it doesn't. See how like this part is still really black in the top and that's because it's not being, probably because it's not being exposed to the sun and like other um, like natural things that would cause it to darken. And you're gonna kinda like when you paint it, sometimes like you wanna go in a circular motion so you can get into all the nooks and crannies of the fabric. Cause sometimes like this, like the fabric is, um, has like a little texture to it. So you just wanna make sure to get into all those nooks and crannies. And again, if you do end up missing some pieces, that's totally fine. You can just go back over it again later when you see it, that you missed a spot, so. You're totally good. Again, we're just getting into all these little nooks and crannies in the bag. This little corner right here is super brown. Or kind of like grayish tan. I don't know exactly what the color is. In certain lighting it looks brown, certain lighting it looks gray. Now when you guys are done with this, you guys are going to be so surprised with how gorgeous this bag is going to look. Because it is going to look like a million bucks. This bag is going to look brand new. And see we finished almost half the bag and that just like little amount of water and paint that we mixed together pretty much um, almost painted the whole thing. So you really really don't need that much and you don't need to like be super heavy handed with the paint, which is really nice. And again, I love Angelus. Angelus, if you're watching this, I am so obsessed with you. You guys make the best products ever. I love all your products. They are beyond amazing. So again, we're just gonna make a little bit more of our mixture, just some water and more paint. Again, like, I, I'm sorry I don't really measure. I kind of just eyeball it and by feel. But you, there's really, you can't really mix it, like, mess this up. If, um, you'll see that when your, if your mixture is too, or doesn't contain enough paint, um, you'll see it when you're coloring the bag. It won't get as dark, and then you can always just, like, add a little bit more paint. And then if your mixture, um, has too much paint, again, you can definitely just see that in the um, viscosity or like thickness of your paint mixed with the water, so. And again, I like to go like that just to see like if it's like if it's dark and then if it's like just like the color, like how um, how it looks before you add it in. And you can see like I missed a couple spots right there when I was going over it. So you can just go over it and just go in a circular motion and you will get into all those little nooks and crannies in the bag. And this is so easy. It's actually like kind of therapeutic. I kind of really, really like painting bags. I think it's like really relaxing. It's kind of like, um, I know there's like a trend of like adults 
um, coloring books. Like this is my version of an adult coloring book. It's like painting bags and making them look brand new and gorgeous again. And again, you can do this to all, pretty much any fabric. Um, the, the especially the Angelus acrylic paint is really good because it um, you can use it on almost like any type of you can use it on um, fabric like this you can use it on leather you can use it on faux leather so really sky is the limit with this paint and the paint is really great because it's flexible and it's um, it, it's uh, fade resistant and it doesn't crack and it doesn't peel so it's really 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 great And again, I'm just going over the whole, oh, you probably don't even see me right now. Let me move this back just a tad bit so you can see more of what I'm working. And doing the bottom. Don't forget to do the underside. So you can like when um you guys can also paint like if you have like um like a cool like jean jacket that you want to paint a design on on the back or if you have some shoes that you want to paint a fun design on, you can definitely use this paint also. Like if you have um, some vans or something that you want to paint up, like some old vans that you can't like really clean that well anymore, and they're like once white and now they're like kind of grimy, but the fabric is still good, you can easily, easily, easily just like paint it. Even if you want to just paint it one color, you can definitely use this technique. It's um. I find it a lot easier than using regular fabric dye because the fabric dye um, you have to like wash it out and you have to submerse it and sometimes you have to use salt and all that and this just makes the job so 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 much easier and this isn't going to rub off on your clothes anymore once it dries it's going to stay steadfast in the fabric and that is what like that is a really 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 good thing. You don't have to worry about this paint ending up on your clothes because who wants a stain from their bag? So it's already looking like a million bucks. Like, look at that. It's already looking great. It's gonna do more of this side. And I'm going to wait for this front part to dry a little bit before I do the back. And again, it dries pretty quick. It's just like, just like wait for the time like while that water dries. Um, I just wait about like 10-15 minutes and it'll be dry enough. Even though it'll still be moist to the touch, you won't, um, the color really won't transfer like the front. Like I can still feel it a little bit wet, but it's not going to rub off even like this side like there's very very mild color transfer already and I just painted it so just gotta wait a little bit and then you'll be able to flip it over and do the rest just want to make sure to get into these little nooks right here inside these edges And this part is looking really, really good. And again, if you're once your back dries and it doesn't, um, it's not as dark as you want it to be. You can always just layer it. You can just add another 
um, light layer of paint very, very easily. And that's not going to be a problem at all. And it's not going to um, ruin the bag. Again, just as long as you have a watery consistency, you don't want it to be too thick or else you're actually going, like what's going to happen is you're actually going to cover up this print with like an actual layer of paint. Whereas when it's watery like this, the, um, the paint can actually absorb into the fabric and it's going to go into it instead of laying on top of it. And that's what we're, that's how we're dyeing the bags. So I'm just checking the front to make sure I didn't miss any spots and I did. So I'm just going to go lightly over with a brush. And again, that circular motion is important too when you have a very um, texturized fabric. And that way you can make sure to get everything into all of these little nooks and crannies in the fabric. Circular, circular. I'm just going to use up the remaining paint on this top part right here. And sometimes like from certain angles you can see like that you didn't get everything. So you might have to just fiddle around with the bag, move it around in the light and make sure that you're getting every little part so that like at certain angles your bag doesn't look like it's a different color. And yeah, so right now I'm just going to just let this sit and dry for like 10, 15 minutes and then I will be right back with you and we're going to go ahead and do the rest of the bag. Let's let it sit right here and yeah, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so this is <clears throat> the back of the bag for now. I'm going to allow this to dry. I already did a second layer over the front as well. So we're gonna see how that turns out once it's all dry. So I'm just gonna leave this maybe for like, mm, I wanna say 30 minutes so I can see how um, the color does. I tried to, um, actually I kinda like layered it on a little thicker on the back so hopefully I'm hoping for just one coat um, for the back but I am not too sure so we're gonna have to wait till the bag is fully dry so again I will be right back with you once this is dry and then we'll take a look and see how it turned out all right so now I'm going to work on the front already um, the top I'm still waiting for the rest of it to dry but I just want to start on the front side now. Yes, Cade? Are you supposed to be reading? Um, um, Mommy's not here. Where, oh, did they go look at apartments? They, they, How long are you supposed to read for? Um, mm, or how many chapters are you supposed to read? No, Mommy haven't set the timer or anything. Set the timer? She haven't set the timer. Do you want me to set a timer for you? Uh, yeah. How long does the timer need to be for? Um, I want, what chapter do you want me to stop at? How many chapters do you usually read? I usually read, um, three a day. Okay, read three chapters and then you're done. That would be all the way to seven. Okay. I'll set the timer right now, okay? Go read. Go downstairs. I'll call. I'll 
Let me know when you're done reading it. I'll let you know how long. Okay, go. I'm just gonna use my phone. Okay? Just let me know when you're done. Go. Three yeah. chapters. Alright, so far it's looking good. I'm just going to um, let this sit for the time being and let the rest of the bag dry but the top is looking pretty good can you guys see that it's looking really dark even um with that middle part it's like looking like it's the same color throughout so i'm pretty happy but again we're just gonna wait till this dries completely so i'm gonna let it dry for um quite some time maybe like an hour or so and then I will be right back with you guys once um, the bag is dry and then we're going to reassess um, the color and then see if we're going to have to um, do any touch-ups. And alright, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back with the bag and it has been like two hours later and it is looking beautiful. It looks so good. The color is like gorgeous and it's all uniform throughout I'm going to reconnect these straps onto the bag and I am just so excited with how this bag turned out it's so nice now the color is back to how it was originally and again like I said you guys this color is not gonna fade so it's gonna it's gonna last quite some time before you're gonna have to re-dye or anything so let me just okay guys so we are back with the bag it looks so good I'm just so excited like it was like brown before almost like it looked on camera it looked brown in real life it was like a grayish with like a tint like a, a hint of brown but it is beautiful again it is gorgeous and all for the low low price of $9.99 just a little bit of the acrylic paint which costs I think it's about like five six dollars um the Angelus cleaner is about I think like about seven, eight, nine dollars, and just like for under like twenty dollars, you can fix up a lot of bags. And that paint, like the acrylic paint, is just so versatile because you can use it on leather and fabrics and plastic and pretty much anything, and it works really well. And like I said, this bag is not gonna like the color is not gonna rub off on your clothes. Um, I would give it 24 to 48 hours though just to make sure that the color settles and everything's good. But after that, it's not going to give you any problems when you're wearing it. It's going to be awesome and perfect and look at that. So good. So, so, so excited. So again, thank you guys so, so much. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, all the things that I use in this video, I have them linked down below in the description box. Um, the Angelus paint and the um, the Cadillac conditioner. So, must have in any handbag refurbisher, handbag collector, handbag owner's arsenal. I think it's amazing. Or right, those products are amazing, so definitely get them if you guys um, are interested in just like restoring bags or even just keeping up your bags. The conditioner is just essential and you can use it for anything, almost anything that's leather. So, again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you want to check out more handbag rehab videos, I'll have the link right there. Don't forget to check out my thrift videos and my haul videos as well. And thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll be updated every time I post a new video. And I post videos every single day. Yes, every single day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye. So check it out. These